Well, Steve, uh, thank you very much for having us here in California for the, the view of the new Soul EV. I mean, uh, the Soul has been hugely successful for Kia in the past since it's debuted. But now this is that's another chapter to the to the success story. It sure does. You know, we're very very proud of the Soul, and we think that the Soul EV is a nice um, a new direction for the car. It's uh, fully fully charged. We like to say it's fully charged, but it's electrified and it's powered by a 27 kilowatt hour, 360 volt, state of the art lithium ion polymer battery. And what that means to our customers is it, it's 93 miles of range, which is significantly more than um, nearly all of our competitors, with the exception of the $70,000 Tesla Model S. But the car comes packed with uh, lots and lots of technology to help maximize range um, and minimize the carbon footprint. And uh, that's thanks to the new technology in the battery, I understand, right? That's exactly right. The battery materials are very, very special. It's a lithium ion polymer uh, battery, but it's the materials inside the battery, uh, the nickel, cobalt, manganese, cathode, and the carbon graphite anode, and a special electrolyte that those are bathed in that make it really unique. And what it, what's unique about it is that it's um, it's got a very very, very high energy density, which means we can cram a lot of energy into a small space, which is helpful because it, when the battery fits into the car, which is under the floor, uh, it preserves the interior space and the interior package of the car. So compared to the original uh, Kia Soul, how much space was taken because of the electrification of it? It's, it's actually very, very, very minimal. Um, the rear floor where you put your feet um, has been raised uh, about 75 millimeters, uh, but to offset that we've actually repositioned the occupants back a little bit so you can barely even notice it. Other than that, there's essentially no change to the interior space. Well, uh, but the outside, I mean, special colors, special looks. I mean, obviously the grill in the front changed a lot because that's where you charge it from. Yeah, yeah. So good point. So on the outside of the car, we've tried to distinguish the Soul EV from the Soul. Uh, it's by different colors. There's four color schemes. Uh, there's black with the red roof, blue with the white roof, uh, all titanium, all white. And then and beyond the colors, there's unique design cues, like you mentioned the grill. The grill is completely different, and what's hidden in the grill is the charge ports. So you push a little button, the door opens up, and you can access the charge ports to really easily charge the car. The front fascia or the bumper skin is different. Uh, the wheels are unique. Uh, the rear fascia and bumper skin is unique. And the taillights actually have a little LED array in it to distinguish the car uh, from the sole, the, the non-EV sole. So, um, and the charging uh, ports that you mentioned, and you have two and most cars have only one why is that yeah we're very proud of this um, the car comes with a standard DC charge capability which means that the car can be recharged from empty to 80% in about 33 minutes the second charge port is for your level 1 and level 2 charging which is 120 volt or 240 volt charging 240 volts most common and that will recharge the car in about four four and a half hours so the 220 is like the one you have in the dryer in your house and like people just can like make a another arrangement to have it uh, close to the car. Right? It, exactly. The 220 is uh, generally available in the house somewhere, in the garage, uh, but typically in the garage, best place to put the charger. And uh, you simply char plug the charger in and charge your car in about four and a half hours. And then the other one, like the regular 110, it's just like your cell phone. Yeah, just like your cell phone. It's going to take longer. It's going to, full disclosure, it's going to take 24 hours to recharge the car from empty. But for some people, it can actually work. Yeah, I mean, uh, with all uh, electric cars, I mean, that's what, what happens at the beginning. I think there's like a little learning curve that you have to adjust. I mean, uh, remember where you can charge it, where you're going and all that. I mean, there's also a little bit of anxiety with it, but you have to learn like within, I would say, what, what do you say like, in terms of time, one week, two weeks, that people start getting more comfortable with uh, using an electric car? Yeah, actually, I think that's about right. One or two weeks, and once you figure out your local charge spots and, you know, your daily loop, uh, you can very, very easily live with an EV. It works for a lot of people. At the beginning, it's going to be sold only in California, right? Yeah, the first few months, we're going to be in California, but we're looking to expand the, uh, the market outside California. Can we talk a little bit about pricing and what, how are you offering for the consumers? Sure. Uh, we've got a very, very good price story here. Um, the Soul EV starts at $33,700. Uh, the Soul EV Plus 
is 35700 and the Plus gets you leather seat trim, cooled front seats, uh, folding side mirrors, front and rear park assist. Uh, but we have a very, very good lease. We have a very attractive lease that's $249 a month. Uh, that's for 36 months with $1995 down. Very, very competitive. Can we go back a little bit to the technology in the battery? Because uh, with some cars, I have had the experience of like thinking that I calculated correctly. And at the end of the day, I was pretty close to my house. And it went from 18 to 11 yeah. miles of range really quickly, like yeah. within a block. Yeah. So, I mean... I think this new battery uh, eliminates part of that? Uh, the new battery helps that. Um, there's a lot of technology in the car to help that. We've got a very uh, very robust regenerative braking system that helps recuperate energy and helps uh, improve the range. But the battery materials themselves and the engineering in the battery uh, are very beneficial to maximizing range and uh, eliminating the fluctuations that occur. Oh my god, you got 10 miles, no wait, it's 20 miles, no wait, no, it's 30 miles. So the battery materials and the composition are very, very helpful for that but the 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 intent though is to maximize range and we've got an EPA number of 93 miles and I can tell you from our own internal testing we've gone well beyond that yeah and also it depends on how people drive I mean the sign of driving changes like it, it does with uh, with a gas car too that's exactly right if you keep your foot into it and you're driving fast in the fast lane uh, you will consume more energy. can't get around that. What about the guarantee for the battery and all the electric components of the car? That's another thing we're very, very proud of. So the battery is warranted for 10 years or 100,000 miles, which is unique in the EV space. Most uh, car companies will warrant it for eight years. Uh, work 10 and the uh, the rest of the powertrain is also warranted for 10 years 100,000 miles so we have a very uh, durable uh, powertrain we're very proud of that and so we warrant it accordingly so a great first step in this electrification of the car for Kia are any other plans for any cars in the future well you know we're, we've got uh, a lot of engineers working on um, electro mobility so uh, can't reveal anything at the moment Javier but um, but knowing Kia it's, it's going into that direction we're, we're intrigued with the technology let's leave it at that How's well, well, excellent. Well, we just uh, drove that car for like a couple hours here in, uh, in uh, California, and the drive is fantastic. I mean, it's quiet, it's powerful, it's already all the power is there. So, really, we really enjoy it. Thank you very much for thank uh, you, experience. Javier. We appreciate the comments and the opportunity to show uh, show you and the rest of the media the car. Thank, thank you. you. You're welcome. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting. 